howdy and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got my Christmas house tour. Now, I have to start off with some bad news. I recorded my video of me putting my Christmas tree up yesterday and I've just been sat editing it and I have somehow deleted the footage. I am absolutely gutted. So I'm so sorry I cannot put up a decorating my Christmas tree. But the next best thing is a Christmas house tour. I would like to start off by saying thank you for all your support this year and I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas and spending time with your family and friends which let's face it is the best thing. So I'll try and cheer myself up and get into my Christmas house tour. First of all on my table we just have this small decoration. Um, this container came from TK Maxx last year and a new addition I have bought for this year is from the White Company and it's some of their purpura. This is just a small bit of it. I have a container in my room that's got the majority of it. So it's got pine cones in it, oranges, orange segments and little pieces of cinnamon and it smells beautiful. Very Christmassy, very spicy. And all I've added is just a little bit of some silver cones just to give it that little bit of extra sparkle. Now this year I have gone a little bit more minimal in the kitchen. Last year I had a lot of greenery but this year I've gone a lot more minimal. So I'll just show you this one. This is uh, my Mercury little Christmas tree. I bought this one last year from TK Maxx and wedged in between is some photos of my lovely boys. Uh, I love looking at photos with them. They don't live with me anymore, but I get to see the lovely faces every day, so that all makes me happy. So next, I'll just swing you around, and these are a new addition for this year. This is uh, my little nutcracker. I saw him in TK Maxx, and um, he's got little stripy trousers on. Now, these ones are, I've just got three of these. They came from my local garden centre and I generally pop a tea light in and they look very effective when it's dark. Um, it's got a stag on, some snowflakes, some baubles, and yeah, I just have three of those. And this is my other lovely nutcracker. Again, he also comes with striped trousers. So as soon as I saw that, I thought, right, you're coming home with me. And I have to say, I'm really enjoying my two little new additions this year. So yeah, that is my Christmas decor in the kitchen. So now I'll take you through to the room and I'll show you my Christmas tree. So this is my Christmas tree for this year. Now every year we have a real tree but this year for a change we decided to get an artificial one. This one came from our local garden centre. It's a seven foot tree and it has a flopped finish on it. And uh, I'll just quickly go through some of the uh, decorations on the tree. I have to say, when I put it up yesterday, um, I really felt that I'd made a mistake with it. Um, like I said, I'm used to a real tree. But now I've got it all trimmed up, I'm really quite pleased with it. So I'll show you the skirt. Uh, I had this last year and this came from the range. And I've just stuffed underneath some feather bows that came from the pound shop but I like that because it's made it a lot more fluffy and full. Um, these baubles also came from the range last year, the stripy ones and the little uh, fluffy snowball effect ones. These ones came from our garden centre last year and I love those, they really catch the light. This one I've had a good few years, that came from uh, again our local garden centre and inside I've just got some picks 
Um, I can't honestly remember where I got these from. Bought those last year as well. And I've just got a little church there that lights up, but I don't put it on because the, the tree lights are cool white and that one's got quite a warm finish to it. Um, this is one of my favourites, this is also a garden centre one. I've had this, oh, I must have had it 10 years, this bauble, but I really like it. It's in the shape of an apple and somewhere else on the tree there should be a pear. Okay, just Oh yes, it's down here, the pear's there. I really like that, they really catch the light. Um, these came last year. The glass ones, there's one there and one there. You always get, when you get your uh, Christmas decorations out, there's always that one thing you've forgotten about and you're really pleased when you see it. And that was them this year. Yeah, they came from Matalan. And then I've got the little birds on the top. They came from the garden centre last year. And a new addition on the tree for this year was the bow. That also came from a local garden centre, but I was really pleased it went on straight and it stopped straight, so yeah, I like that. Um, that one there, this Christmas tree, I've had that for, must have had that one 10 years, but I never get fed up with that one. So yeah, overall I am really pleased with my tree. The light is just starting to go currently, it's coming up to three o'clock so yeah and then I've just got a little uh, parcel down there I did all my wrapping yesterday and everything's uh, all put away but I just left that one out because yeah I like the, the paper that paper actually came from TK Maxx and uh, yeah I like the stripy paper so I'll just give you a little uh, quick swing round. This is the remainder of uh, the White Company uh, container. I've just got it in a hurricane lamp and it looks really nice in there with the cones and the orange segment and then an orange uh, placed in the top. And like I say, it smells lovely in my kitchen and lovely in here. I do know the White Company sell a little bottle and you can refresh the fragrance in but like I say I only opened these yesterday and they smell absolutely stunning so yeah I've just got that one there in the corner another one of my ornaments from last year is this one this one came from Laura Ashley it was very expensive I have to say um, but I absolutely love it it looks so nice Try and zoom it in a little bit for you. That's about as technical as I get being able to zoom a camera in. <laughs> and there we are, it's absolutely stunning. And then the last thing, which is the total star of the show, if you remember him from last year, it's Mr. Charles. Yep and he came from next and I absolutely love him just as much this year as I did last year he looks absolutely gorgeous really catches the light at different times of the day and yeah I'm super pleased with him so that concludes my little Christmas tree tour and again I must apologise I am so sorry um, but it would have mean taking the tree down and putting it back up again and at this time of year no no can do with enough stress going on at the moment so no that, that definitely wasn't a possibility so I can only apologise so again I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and uh, hope to catch you later. Thank you so much for watching then. Bye!